Hmm. This sketch looks pretty good. Let's make some line art. Let's do a P for pen and make a new regular layer. Stop right there. Art police. Hmm? You are in violation of section 5, code 3, and paragraph 2. Not using vector layers when you could have for line art. What do you have to say for yourself? Um, because I'm a furry artist? That's not gonna cut it. Mm. Bow, 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 Well, hello there, this is Tamil, and today I really casually wanted to go over vector layers and clips to paint, how to use them, why you should use them, and little tips and tricks that will help you improve your work. So what is exactly vector? Well, you have raster images that you've probably seen a lot on the internet. It's images that you can enlarge, but they're gonna start getting blurry and a little bit pixelated. But for vector, on the other hand, well, you're gonna have a math equation that a computer uses to determine colors on the screen. Let's say you have A, B, C, D, and you have four points, and you just tell a computer, hey, can you make this a shape? And it doesn't matter how big that shape is going to be or how small it's going to be, it's still gonna draw the same exact shape. So let's say you have four points, it's probably gonna be a square. So because of that, no matter how much you make it bigger, the computer is still going to be able to do a very crisp and clean line or a shape or a color. So that's why if you want to print your work or use it for logos, it's really good to use vector. Clip Studio Paint vector layers are actually easy to use. And unfortunately, I'm not getting paid to say this. They are cool and I like to use them for inking. So let's just get into the tutorial. I'll teach you the basics. If you've never used them, you're like, you don't care about it. I'll teach you cool stuff. All right, let's let's keep this simple so that even the, the little monkeys, they can, they can draw. The monkeys are gonna replace our jobs. In order to get started, we obviously need a layer. Duh, we all need layers. Uh, so you can go into layer panel. You see that there is a new raster layer. That's not what we need. You can go new layer and then you can go into vector layer. And this will create a vector layer. I'll just call this vector. Okay, you see this little layer panel and there's gonna be a little cube. That literally means that layer is going to be from the vector village, the vector secret village of vectors. Uh, you can make a new vector layer by just clicking this icon, so right here. And this is going to be right next to regular layer. So regular layer, vector layer, regular layer, vector layer, regular, okay, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> with a vector layer, you can pick any brush you want, even the one that grandma gave you, and then just do this and boom, this is a vector brush strokes, which means no matter how much you scale it, it's not going to lose quality. It's not gonna get pixelated. So the reason being we don't really see a difference is because obviously it's a smaller scale, but if you go into object operation, you go into object and here you can select and you can see these points. So these points literally mean that this is a vector layer. We can manipulate it just like a vector path. And sometimes it becomes like weird when you have like many lines like this, but it's hard to select multiple of them, right? And in order to fix this, we can go into operation object, into tool property. If you don't have this open, go into window, tool property. And in here, you're going to go into operation of transparent part which whatever that means, <laughs> it's a lot of words. Basically, you click on this, you go into select by dragging area, click on this, and this should be on by default in my opinion. You can go in here, click, drag, and just like this, we're gonna get all of our outlines together, and uh, now we can just kidnap all of them and just like manipulate the way we want to. We can just like rotate it and do whatever we want with them. It doesn't really matter how you feeling about it, it's not gonna lose any quality at all. It's really, really cool. And still, in the operation tool, we can go into brush size, make it extra thick, extra thin, doesn't really matter, whatever your heart desires. And the cool thing is that you go into brush shape, click here, you're gonna have these all brush presets that are installed in Clip Studio Paint. You can change the brush 
after you drew this i think it's insane you click here boom you have hearts and uh, happy valentine's day by the way if you don't have a valentine uh just keep drawing <laughs> art is your new valentine and if i go into brushes so let's say i go into tamil and i really love this render brush you go into settings right here i actually have a video on all of this stuff on brush settings more if you want but you can create any brush you want like let's say i want this one and i go into brush shape and i can click here add two presets and once i have this in my presets i can go back select the lines go into brush shape and you can see it's right here round boy which means now it's going to use that exact brush for those lines. Let's say you're not impressed with this. Let's say you don't want to use vector lines. Well, I'll show you this one cool trick. So, okay, if you have a circle, we all love drawing circles. No, we don't. Uh, we draw a circle and it turned out to be like this. You know, it's, it's okay. Then you do it again. Then you do it again. And then you have grandkids and they're like, Papa, are you still drawing the circles? You say, yes, I am still drawing the circles. Well, this is stupid. I think that you should be able to live your life with your grandkids. And let's just, we do this. And it's, and it's, not, it's not what I want, but that's okay. Uh, and here, you go all the way down. You can see this want to, which is correct line, shortcut Y. Uh, I don't know why, I get the joke, okay. Uh, it's okay, I'm not funny. Um, <laughs> correct line, this is going to be a lot of cool tools in here that I love using, but particularly I like to use uh, pinch vector line, which basically means you can basically manipulate this like liquify, but it doesn't lose any quality at all. And then you just can just boop, boop connect it just like this and it's connected you can go into pinch level we can change the tendency to bend so if we do like very low this is what it's gonna do if you go really high it's gonna try to be more smooth you can do effect range which is gonna make our brush bigger or smaller if we're really not feeling like making like a big adjustments another cool thing is that if we have some points that are not connected so Right here you can see itty bitty thing that is not connected. That's why we can go into connect vector line and in here we can see the range that we're gonna start connecting with. Connect lines, you can go into here, boom. Now it's all connected. Now it's all one path. We can go into the contour and we can't break it because it's all connected. It's one big circle, one big family. And if we wanna edit a little bit, we have way too many points. This is way too many children in this family. Uh, we can go into simplify vector line. We can go really high or just very low. It really depends on the shape. I think simplifying very different shapes affects the layers differently. Let's say a circle, if you go all the way up, it's kind of messing up the circle because a circle has to have many points but sometimes you can get away with like two or three depending on the shape itself and it changed the shape a little bit not too much but it can go into control point and as you can see there's so many points now that are were less than uh what we had before this actually is important because it makes it easier to pinch a vector line because there's not that many points that we're going to mess up that's why if you want to start pinching, I would suggest simplifying a little bit first because this makes for a way easier process. And I've used on this artwork specifically because I, my lazy little boy who doesn't want to do anything in art, I just want the programs to do everything. Uh, and here, adjust line width. If, if there's anything at all that I want you to think about, this is it. And as we know, line width is what makes line art stand out and look more professional. So if we go into adjust line width, there's many options and let's just start with simple. So thicken and narrow. Let's go thicken and do maybe 2.7. And this way, if we go around, we can start enlarging our shape. And just like this, we're making a very, very thick line, which is awesome. I, re I think really cool. But as we know, if there is a light coming from somewhere, it's really 
uh, makes for a cooler artwork if it's thinner. If you look down over here, you can see that over here, there's very, very thin lines because the light is going to hit it. But in here, in the shadow, the lines are very thick, which makes for a more dynamic image. And we can go into narrow and let's say the light is coming from the top. And just like this, we can do narrow and we can enlarge this. So let's say narrow six. This will make for a more uh, kind of hardcore uh, line difference. And we can just keep going until it almost disappears, which I <laughs> don't recommend. Uh, art that disappears is not really cool, unless I don't know anything about art. But basically, you can keep going. And you can see already that our uh, bean shape, I don't know what this is. Let's just call him a uh, little, little, uh, little Jimmy. Uh, <laughs> you can see that he has way more uh, variety because this is really thick because this is where the shadow is going to be like and at the top you can see there's light coming through and this is very thin which makes for it's just a cool look and this to draw on my own to draw with my own hands with a brush it's going to probably take me forever and ages with this and uh, using Clip Studio Paint cool tools, I think it makes for a really quick and easy way to do this. Okay, let's say the last thing that I showed you also sucks. You don't really care for it, it's it's okay. But if I show you this vector eraser, you're gonna you're gonna like this video and subscribe or else. Uh, please, <laughs> no, I don't care. Uh, I do care, just a little bit. Okay, so ink, you have vector brush and vector layer. We can go whoosh, whoosh, and bam and bam and erasing all of these uh, is gonna take probably like what 50 millions of years and your grandkids are still gonna like ask you if you're insane and you're gonna sit there and I'm like oh it didn't turn out to be right okay this is cool and all but in vector you can see eraser tool vector there are many different ways you can erase you see this little uh, vector eraser there are different mods and each one it says erase touching areas, erase up to intersection and whole line. Whole line, obviously, if you do this, it's going to erase the entire thing. And uh, this thing, it kind of works as a regular eraser. But my favorite one is in the middle, erase up to intersection. You just do wow and then deletes where the intersection lines are bam 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 you are going to uh, go to jail if you <laughs> use this technique i swear nobody nobody really shows me this when i was learning clip studio paints and just like this you can overshoot your lines to any degree you want and still get away with it because it's gonna look awesome and nobody is gonna tell you that you cheated because cheating is for losers anyway so if you do this 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 uh, it doesn't work always amazingly but as you can see it's pretty good and this way i get my lines into this perfect kind of alignment another thing another tip secret tidbit that i'll talk to you and just to preface this fill tool will not work when you use a vector uh, layer so we can make a vector layer we have the lasso it's not gonna let us do anything because it's like no vector is only for vector separate the layer families don't mix them up and because vector allows us to create these clean clean lines that all connect that's why we can use fill enclosed and it's a really cool thing that I, I just I just can't live without anymore because it's, it's such a cheat. If you go into Clip Studio Paint, you go, uh, you obviously fill and close and fill. And here there are many settings you can mess around with. I think I covered it in one of my previous videos. But just pick a color you like, let's say just, you know, dark red. And you just fill it and it automatically goes in and does it for you. I mean, I don't... If, if this is not magic to you, I, I don't know what is magic. And in here, we can go and just like this, it fills everything. It fills literally everything. And after this, we can just go in here and pick an eraser and then we just erase the parts we don't like. So for example, this is like a little bit too much. This is a little bit too much. And dude, it just, you just keep doing this and you saved yourself like what, an hour 
maybe uh, 30 minutes of filling if you have like a really complicated piece you just do this and with the fill and that's it this is literally free money free real estate for you you know uh, <laughs> The only thing that I can warn you is that for a vector, it's not gonna let you blend colors because vector is mostly used for line work. So if you want to use it to blend colors, it's not going to work as well because it's very, very hardcore and it's trying to just like keep everything together. So that's why we usually uh, sketch with our normal layer, uh, pencil maybe or blue color and then once we're done with that we ink with our inks so we use our vector layer and then after that we create another raster we fill it in and dude like look at this so we have this color right and now we can make a new layer and we do command alt G which is control alt G and now this is clipped you can click this button if you want and once this is clipped, it doesn't matter where you're gonna draw, it's not gonna go outside of this. Look at this. Look, I, I can be <laughs> the new Picasso. Look, it's, it's so easy. And all of that is at your hands in front of you. You can use this for anything you want. I really hope I um, helped you with this. I really hope that this video was useful or else I just kind of <laughs> wasted my evening making this. But if you found this useful, please uh, just like, share, uh, subscribe, comment if you want. Just keep drawing, keep uh, improving, learning more. I think this is the most important part. Just just enjoy the process, you know, it's, it's okay if you fail. It's all right if it doesn't look that good. I think that I've, I've myself been in a really rough uh, art block recently. And just making this video, it helped me so much. But uh, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I also made a article for this uh, tutorial and it's gonna be in the link in the description. Uh, I just kind of go over the same thing, but just in text and uh, maybe add a little bit more. So if you wanna check it out, you know, for sure do that. Um, and uh, again, same as usual, uh, happy painting, I really hope that uh, your day goes okay and better than uh, the bagel that I've had this morning. It was horrible, I did not like that. Anyway.